Welcome into video number four in the Launchpreneurship Lawn Care Landscaping and Snow Removal Business Website and SEO course. And again, if you want more training like this after this course is done, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then click here to receive the list of the 10 biggest mistakes that new owners make. This will save you hours upon hours of frustration, headaches, and stress to make your early years in business a lot easier and you'll get updates on the newest content from Entrepreneurship. And then be sure to join our Entrepreneurship Facebook group so that way you can interact with other landscape business owners as well as have your questions answered by me in the Facebook group. You can get to all these by just clicking the button here on the screen. And if you're watching this on your phone, which you shouldn't be because you can't really build a website on your phone, you, well, you could, but it'd be really, really hard and it would take forever. But in case you are watching on your phone, there will be a link below to all of these here as well. And Launchpreneurship 101, which is our flagship training course, is really, really cool. You've seen what we do in these videos and how much value we give away. Imagine what's inside our training platform. It's a really cool course that covers basically everything from A to Z for starting, operating, managing, and growing your own lawn, landscape, and snow removal business. And if you want to get more information, just click the button here on the screen to learn more about it. Here's what we're going to cover in video number four, and it's going to be all about creating our pages to rank them, otherwise known as on-page SEO. Here here are the most important ranking factors for on page. First things first is our page titles and description, and we will be using the all in one SEO pack to do this. You can use Yoast or other plugins, but all in one is my favorite because it's most simple to work with. We dug into that a little bit in earlier videos, but we'll get more into it in this video. Next is at least 300 to 500 words on each page. You want to have your keyword in there as well. So Lawn Care Brooklyn Park, Lawn Care Champlin, we want to have that worked in there naturally. Next are images. They're not required, but they'll be a plus. And if you do have them, you need to make sure that the alternate text set up for the services in the city that we're working on. Next is embedding a YouTube video relevant to the content on your page. So, and then you want to link out to relevant high authority sites. Whatever city we are targeting, we're going to link out to their government homepage. So whatever city.gov or .org, whatever their site is. And then a Wikipedia page as well for the topic at hand. So lawn care, landscaping, snow plowing. And then we're also going to be interlinking between these sites pages. So we're going to be interlinking with, we've already been doing that thus far with our contact page. And we want to be linking out to other pages on our site and makes things look a little bit better to Google as well. And then last is embedding a Google map into our page. That sounds like a really big, crazy thing. It's not that hard at all. I'll show you exactly how to do it here in this video. So let's get into it because we, like always, have a lot of work to do. Okay, let's start creating our first city plus service page. So we're going to go to pages, add new, and we're going to title this one core aeration Brooklyn park. So right away, what you want to do is the service and then the city. You can also do comma and the state if you'd like, we'll do that on here. And then for the parent page, it is going to be lawn and landscape maintenance. So then what we're going to do is write 300 to 500 words. This is where it's actually really important because we're trying to rank this page for this search term. So that way when someone is in Brooklyn Park or whatever city it is and they're searching for core aeration or lawn mowing or lawn care, landscaping, whatever the service is that someone's looking for in that particular area, we want our page here to show up. So we want the page to not only be long enough so that Google will reward it for ranking it, we want to be able to educate our visitor so they are well-versed in what it is that we offer for, for services and they are more enticed to contact us for a quote. So I'm going to pause the video quick, grab my article, and then I'll be right back. One thing real quick is if you are struggling to come up with an idea for what you want to write about for all your pages, since we are going to be building out multiple pages for services plus city, and you definitely don't want to have the same exact article on every single page because Google does not like that, you can go over to sites like iWriter or you can go to freelancer.com, Upwork, Fiverr, all those sites where people offer services. You can get content there for pretty good prices. I mean, we're talking less than 10 bucks in most cases to get a pretty well-written article. You can also go to Conquer, and here's a shameless plug. Here's one of my gigs on here. And if you want to have a member of my team or maybe, maybe even me write out an article for you, obviously we know what the heck we're talking about when it comes to writing about lawn, landscape, snow, irrigation, tree services. We can get these articles written out for you for a pretty good price. At, at this very point in time, it's only about five bucks per article and we know how to write for SEO so that way it will help your site rank a little bit better. 
So there's an option there, but we're, what we're going to do is since I can't purchase from my own gig here on Conquer, we'll just go through the process at iRider. So what we'll do, is log in, so you go create an account, you'll then click get unique content written by an iWriter. So what you're going to do is write in your project description that's going to be one article about whatever service it is that you are wanting content about. The categories most likely going to be home improvement. We'll do 400 words and let's do basic writer. These writers aren't the best, however, it gets the job done. When you get into these elite and elite plus level writers, it costs a lot more to get an article written. For this, basic will do just fine. Premium might work if you better. It just depends. It depends on your budget. Then we want our keyword in there, the keyword that we are tra targeting. So we're going to do lawn care Brooklyn Park or aeration Brooklyn Park or whatever it is that you want it to be. And then price will show up here. If you want more keywords, that's going to increase the cost per article, as you can see here. But we just have one keyword. And if we want to take this content and put it on another page, on our website, we can just change out the city name. It's not too hard. I like to do professional tone, the article purpose for the company website, no special instructions, and we submit the project. Usually it'll be done in about a few hours, maybe a day at most. It can really depend on how busy people are and how many people are on here looking for work. That is that for iWriter. If you want to use them, you can go right ahead. There'll be an annotation here on the screen as well as a link below. Otherwise, you can use other sites like Conquer or Upwork or Fiverr, or even if you if you want to take the time to write it out, you certainly can do that as well. This just saves a lot of time. Time's our greatest asset as a business owner because we only have so many hours in the day. We need to have the majority of our focus on maximizing our income and doing what gets us paid faster. So generally, writing out content for a website isn't what's going to get you more money coming in the door in the grand scheme of things. But anyway, enough of a rant. Back to the website. So now we have our article completed by a writer. We have now accepted it. So what you want to do is click, let's open it up, read it quick, make sure it all looks good, is up to par, and then you will want to accept it. And then you will want to download it to a file and you can open it up in like a text edit or a Word document or whatever it is that you want to have done. So we have our article here. And basically what we're going to do is just copy, actually we're gonna delete the guy's name who wrote it. Oh, it's a lock doc, okay. So we're just going to copy it, head on over to our website. We go to pages, add new. We're gonna copy our article into here. We're gonna do our keyword here for the title, lawn care service in Brooklyn Park, MN. So then for a parent page, you're going to want to do you go to services and you go down to the services branch. So we have lawn care service champlain. We're going to do, it's going to be at the same level as lawn care service champlain because this is just a neighboring city. So we are going to do lawn and landscape maintenance for the parent city and get rid of our writer's name. So we have an article here written. So what we're going to do right away is make sure that this is an H2 font. And since our keyword was just lawn care Brooklyn Park, we're going to add lawn care in Brooklyn Park. So it's a little bit more English friendly. And so I'm going to pause the video quick as I edit the title tags as well as edit some of the font in here so that it makes a little bit more sense to somebody that would be just coming across our site and then reading it. Okay, we are back. We have our article formatted. We have our headings set up properly. And we have our keyword in the heading at least once. We have our keywords scattered, scattered throughout the content. We have our company name in the content as well. It makes it look a lot more natural to Google. And we have about 480, we have, we have 483 words here. So it's looking good so far. Go down here to the title. And I just do the same title as up above, except we add the company name here with after one of these brackets. For the description, we basically say exactly what we're saying for the title, but we're explaining it out a little bit longer because we have more characters to work with. We also want to change up the wording, so that way this site has a better chance of also ranking for lawn mowing Brooklyn Park or spring cleanup Brooklyn Park, fertilizing Brooklyn Park, fall cleanup. You get the idea. And then a little call to action here. You can also put your phone number in here if you like also. Now that we have our content written out, we need to link out to a couple authority sites to give our site a little bit more authority. So what we're going to do first is go to our city's website, which for this one is going to be Brooklyn Park for the city. So we're going to grab their URL. Make sure it's the .gov or .us, .mn.us or .org. Just make sure it's the official city page. So then what I like to do for the city page is go to somewhere where the word the city name is written in your text and make that the anchor text. The anchor text is whatever the content is for the link. So if it's Brooklyn Park or if it's click here, contact us, whatever it is that the 
clickable text is for the link that is your anchor text. So then we just paste it into there, otherwise you can go to insert a link, paste in the URL, click apply, and we have a link to our city page. Next we want to go to Wikipedia and we're just going to grab a URL pertaining to lawn care, landscape maintenance, aerating, whatever the services that we are trying to market. And then same thing for the city, we're just going to do for lawn care or lawn maintenance or lawn mowing. We're gonna make our anchor text be pertaining to the page we're linking out to. So there we go, Wikipedia for lawn maintenance or landscape maintenance right there. And then we have our call to action here at the bottom and we're going to link to our contact page. The big benefit of this is for SEO, so with interlinking our pages together, that helps things a bit with Google, but also it makes things easier for our customers because that way if they're at the bottom of the page, especially if they're on their phone, the easier the process is for the customer, the more likely they are to spend money with your business. So now what we're going to do is add an image and then we need to embed a YouTube video and then embed a map. Now we have our links to authority sites set up. Next we need to add in some images. So you click add media, upload your images, select them. For the alternate text, and this is really important to make sure that you have your city plus your service on here. And you can do other variations of the service as well, plus the city. Click insert into the page and you can align it how you like, whether you want on the left, center, middle, wrapped around with text, whatever you want to do, it's uh, all up to you. Over here at YouTube, what you will need to do is make sure that, first off, if you don't have a YouTube channel for your company, definitely recommend setting that up really quick. It's not going to take very long. And then you need to upload some videos for the services and the cities that you are targeting. It can be just a quick video, you talking on camera, it can be a slideshow, and if you do have footage from working out in the field, that is a huge plus. What we're gonna do is type in Lawn Care Brooklyn Park. And oddly enough, our video is ranked number one for Lawn Care Brooklyn Park, even ahead of this company that's had a video up for five years, wow. So what we're gonna do, we grab the video and go to share, click embed, paste it, copy it, back over here at our site, you're gonna go down and you're gonna click text, scroll to the bottom or wherever you wanna put the video, paste it, click visual, and now you will see that we have our video here. Next, we're gonna go over to Google Maps so we can embed a map. So you're gonna click the menu down here to share our embed map. Click embed. You can do small, whatever size you wanna do. I like medium for this particular page layout that we have. So you're gonna copy that back over here to our site. Paste it. There is our map. Telling Google that this site is all about lawn care services in Brooklyn Park. Then when we have some links explaining out, and like I'll explain later, when we have other websites telling Google that this site is all about lawn care in Brooklyn Park, the more sites that you have telling Google about that, the more likely it is going to rank when we type in Brooklyn Park lawn care. Which increases the likelihood that our site shows up up here which is our whole goal. And so now that we have all that on our page, to just recap everything to make sure you get it all right, go to pages, add new, add your title with service plus city, make sure your parent pages are set up properly, so that way your site structure is set up as needed. Grab your article from over at iWriter, or you can go to Conquer, Upwork, Freelancer, Fiverr, wherever you wanna go, grab your article there. If you wanna check out our gig on Conquer, you can certainly do that. The link will be down below. Then you will format it so that your headings are proper with the city name in there and the keyword in there a few times. You wanna make sure that you have at least three to 500 words. Then you're going to be linking out to authority sites. So it'd be like the city sites and then the Wikipedia page. And then of course, in your call to action down at the bottom, you will have the contact page. Images, alternate text is your city plus service with other variations. YouTube video pertaining to the services that you're offering. And then finally a map. And then also make sure that you have this all set up properly as well. I usually do the same and then make sure to do some variations of the services, basically telling Google that this page is about this without doubling up saying the best lawn care in Brooklyn Park. You do the best mowing, cleanups, fertilizing, dethatching, you name it, and around that area. And then you can also put your phone number in here as well. Now that we have that all set up, it's time to click publish. Then we click view page. And there we have it. There is our site. 
what we're going to have to do here is go into our menu and customizing this so that this doesn't show up. If we create 50 pages for different services in different cities, we don't want these all to be showing up. The way to do that is go back to our dashboard, click Appearance, Customize. So then we go to our theme, click Customize. And if you remember, it's just like the menus that we set up last time. We took out the page number. This is just what we're going to do here. So we click widgets, main widget area. We go down here to what we do. So we have our pages here that are listed out that we are excluding from the menu. What we're gonna do is go over back to our page. Gonna click edit. And what you are going to wanna do is click preview changes. And up here at the top, you will see the page ID right here. So we go, we have our URL, then a comma, or a question mark, sorry, preview, and then underscore ID equals 166. So you're gonna grab this number right here, copy it back over here to customize, put a comma down, paste in that number, and you will watch as this page will disappear right there. There you have it. Then click save and publish. Saved, good to go. Our page looks awesome now. There we have it. Our on-page SEO is now on point. Yes, I've been waiting forever to say it, but it's very, very true now. The next thing you should do is build out more pages for more services in more cities that you work in around your area. If you even niche it down to super specific services like aeration or spring cleanup, and then you start doing it for the smaller cities that you are working in that are, say, less than five or 10,000 people that probably don't have many lawn companies targeting it for SEO because they just don't work in those areas, such as Dayton, Minnesota, or such as Aeration for Dayton, Minnesota, which is a suburb not too far from Brooklyn Park and Champlin. The population is, I believe, like 3,000 or something like that. However, they're mostly high-end homes, so there's a lot of potential for work there. But the search competition isn't that competitive. So it's not too hard to build out one of these pages for that specific service. And the time investment and cost investment isn't that much, especially when you can get a few jobs off it. If you can get $300 aeration jobs for a couple hours worth of work on the computer, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. So build out those pages for that. And then next we will be getting into the off-page SEO where we do backlinking and social signals and all that sort of stuff, as well as doing a little bit of backlinking with our Facebook and Twitter and Instagram pages as well. And again, if you want more training like this after this course is done, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then click here to receive the list of the 10 biggest mistakes that new owners make. This will save you hours upon hours of frustration, headaches, and stress to make your early years in business a lot easier. And you'll get updates on the newest content from Entrepreneurship. And then be sure to join our Entrepreneurship Facebook group so that way you can interact with other landscape business owners as well as have your questions answered by me in the Facebook group. You can get to all these by just clicking the button here on the screen. And if you're watching this on your phone, which you shouldn't be because you can't really build a website on your phone, you, well, you could, but it'd be really, really hard and it would take forever. But in case you are watching on your phone, there will be a link below to all of these here as well. So we'll see you in the next video.